Hi everyone, my name's Melinda Costa and I am from Go Beans Gold Coast. We are your Skip Bins Specialists. I'm here today on the Online Prosperity Show. I am going to be sharing with you some safety tips. Safety is key to say for all of us and to keep us safe out there on the roads to prevent any possible fatalities. This will be my main topic on the show. I do hope you stay tuned to enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. I'm your host, Prosper Tarawinga, and today we have a remarkable guest joining us. Melinda, how are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? I am super, super fantastic, and more the better for having you on the show today, where we're going to be learning a lot more about the safety and also just keeping our towns clean. Now, for those that are watching the show right now, uh, Melinda is an award-winning small business manager with diverse experience in the construction, hospitality, and music industries. She's on a mission to provide innovative solutions for waste management needs, especially in the Gold Coast area. And she's serving both businesses and households. And Melinda's unwavering commitment to exceptional Customer service has led her to understand her clients' challenges, and she knows how to surpass their expectations, You're right? But Melinda, I know this is only just the beginning of your journey. Tell us a little bit about how you got um, involved uh, with Gold Beans and what your role is there, um, especially in the Gold Coast. Yeah, sure. So um, that was a dream of my partner, Stevens to get out of Melbourne. It was probably about five and a half, six years ago now. And um, I said, yeah, sure, let's pack up. Let's go. Um, let's see if my mum wants to come because I couldn't leave my mum behind. Uh, mum said yes to come in. So Stephen started to look for what business could we create because we were in the wholesale seafood industry at the time in Melbourne. Uh, now, Stephen had previously worked in, uh, in the skip bin industry in Melbourne at one point and we found a franchise for sale here. So we, um, we decided to um, take the franchise up uh and then we decided six months into that no we're going to create our own so yeah so we moved to the, go the sunny gold coast and uh started go Beans gold coast and made it our own and went full hog um networking meeting people becoming members of bni bx and many other networking groups to um uh, to know how business really works here on the Gold Coast. Um, being Melburnians, we knew people operate things differently here and we wanted to fit into the, and be part of the business community, but the wider community as well, because it wasn't just about servicing the trades industry. We wanted to be a part of our community and service our neighbours and get to know them and their wants and their needs and uh, to understand everybody. So that's how we got into um, the waste management industry. Absolutely. But that's a far throw, Melinda, from uh, your passion as a young girl. You were into collecting autographs, right? Was I was. I, anybody that I went past in the street, I would be the, the young girl annoying them to, um, please let me have your autograph, let me have your autograph, whether they were... Whether I saw a celebrity on an aeroplane or I walked past them in the street, yeah, uh, yeah, I was one of those people till one day, um, yeah, I realised there was an article that I think was based on my annoyance of annoying people in their um, private time. <laughs> Somebody wrote an article <laughs> about you. Maybe you can share a little bit about what that was all about. Yeah, well, from what I can remember, um, this particular celebrity um, said that he's more than happy to 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 be an actor and more than happy to sign autographs for when it's me time. He just wanted to be treated as a real human being, just as a person, not that person that's on TV or not that character. 
And then I guess from then on, I learned that, yeah, well, they're just like you and me. And later on in life, um, cooking for many different celebrities over the years, um, such as John Stevens, John, um, Joe Camilleri, Renee Geyer, et cetera, um, I learned they are normal people just like you and me. I don't need to go collecting a million different autographs. I don't need to try to be like them because they're unique in their own way and they work goddamn hard and they're just, they're just the same. They bleed the same blood just like you and me. Absolutely. And uh, what, 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 what were you doing with these autographs, um, so to speak? Uh, so I had a book uh, and I lost one of those books when I was a teenager running down the street. So I had books that were, uh, that were autograph books um, that were made a long time ago. And um, I just used to carry it in, in my bag, in my pocket, um, anywhere I could fit this, like, book about this big. And so each time I could spot a celebrity, I would um, ask for an autograph. Absolutely. Well, now you are soon to be an autograph and and a, a celebrity yourself where people will be getting autographs uh, from you. You are embarking on a speaker's journey. Tell us a little bit about that and um, what your findings are about being in the limelight uh, that you once saw your heroes to be in. Sure. So this last year, I've been um, doing a speaker's course with Any Given Tuesday and the founder, Jacqueline Nagel. Um, Jacqueline Nagel is a, a world-renowned speaker and I've been part of this beautiful group called Cohort uh, to learn how to become a public speaker and learn the techniques, methods and moves on how to get there, how to be there, how to talk about what I want to talk about and my importance is talking about the safety in the skipping industry and how the importance of loading the bins correctly, safely, not putting a prohibited item in, not overloading the bin and the reasons why behind that. And that's what the message I want to get out to the construction industry and to the wider community because it's about saving lives in the end. Absolutely. And um, obviously, I, I believe when you're talking to so many different industries like construction, hospitality, music industries, you definitely need to have some sort of a confidence level about what you're talking about, because the kind of stuff that happens when people are not being safe with skip bins is um, very serious. Could you maybe elaborate why it's very important for you to have a platform which people can actually uh, listen to what you're saying because safety is of paramount importance, especially when it comes to skip bins. Yeah. So the reason why I harp on a lot about the safety of skip bins is because I've had my own little incident. Um, so it's the same, same principle applies, but uh, I was following a van on the M1 here on the Gold Coast and he had a stack of ladders on top of his roof. And he didn't secure his load. And therefore, the ladders fell off and one fell off in front of me and I'm driving my Corolla with my mother in, in the car who wasn't well at the time. And I got a ladder caught under my car. Now, that could have easily happened with skipping that's overloaded and not packed correctly by things flying out because it cannot be covered correctly when it's like that. Um, so I, I dragged this ladder for about three k's up the road until I could safely stop. The guy didn't understand what the big fuss was about because he said he was only going to the next exit. I said, you've lost your whole load. People have gotten caught underneath their cars. And then I realised my mum was hopping out of the car and nearly um, stepped into the traffic on the M1. Now, if I didn't go and get her then and there, my mum wouldn't be here today. So my point is if somebody overloads a skip bin, we can't tarp it safely. Therefore, things can fly out. Therefore, that can obstruct a viewer. If a driver 
he can have an accident which can potentially kill him and others, especially driving along the M1. It's not a single car crash. It ends up a collision of at least half a dozen cars a lot of the time. There's children, there's babies, there's adults, there's old people. Our lives are all important and the control is within all of us, not just me, not just my drivers, but it's your control as well when you pack your bin. Wow, absolutely. And safety is, is of paramount importance. I mean, we are sharing the road, we're sharing um, you know, all these uh, public access areas. And if somebody is just being selfish enough not to make sure that they are traveling with, um, you know, a safe vehicle or safe um, load, that would actually cause harm to other people. But somebody's safety does not just uh, pertain to the actual vehicle. There's also people that are on the outside that might actually pose a, you know, a threat or danger to the uh, people that are driving the vehicles. Maybe you can elaborate a little bit on, on that uh, aspect. Yeah, sure, definitely. So there was one incident that we had here on the Gold Coast where one of my drivers accidentally turned into a street which prohibited trucks and it was really his only option to be able to turn there to get out of the driveway of where he was. Unfortunately, a resident off that street decided to take it upon himself to throw a rock directly at the windscreen, which would have hit him here if it had pierced through the windscreen. Luckily, we um, only ended up with a dent in the windscreen. My driver had very, very quick response time and nobody else was around, so he was able to put his brakes on very, very quickly, uh, um, bearing in mind that it takes a longer time for a truck to stop and slow down than what it does for a car. So we were very lucky nobody was injured, but if that rock was any bigger than what it was, which it was about this big, um, it, and he threw it any harder, it could have gone through and it could have potentially killed, which it could have meant that he could have drove into somebody's house. Ooh, yeah. Which well, meant more than one life possibly killed. Absolutely. And that's the reason why a voice like yours is needed in this space so that people are aware of the dangers of what this might cause. Now, in the interest of getting to know a little bit about um, Gold Beans uh, Gold Coast, could you tell us a little bit more, especially about the values that drives this family-owned business and, uh, you know, why people should actually um, look it up and start wanting to do business with you guys? Sure. We care about our community uh, and we, we pride ourselves on giving the best service we possibly can. We answer our phone out of hours. So our hours are 6 to 4 Monday to Friday. Um, and 6 to 12 on Saturday. If there's any emergency out of hours, our phone is always on. We may not get to it straight away, but we do get to it fairly quickly. We hear what our customers say. We hear what their needs are. Um, and our point of difference would be the fact that we'll go out and quote a job. No other skip in I know of on the Gold Coast will go out and quote. So if there's the little old lady or a young single mum that's got all this rubbish or whoever they are and they've got no idea on what size skip in they'll need, if we can't work it out over the phone by talking, say, in trailer loads, because, for an example, three standard trailer loads would be pretty much equivalent to a three cubic metre skip in. But if we can't work it out that way, I myself will come out to your home and I'll assess it and I'll do a quote for you. And that's what sets us apart from the other skip bin companies. We hear our customers' needs. We take into consideration everything. If we're unable to help that customer, saying that they're in the Brisbane area, we refer you to someone in the Brisbane region. We refer you to someone that can do chemical waste, hazardous waste. Um, we go above and beyond to help everybody the best we can. Absolutely. And um, how can these households and preferably some businesses in the Gold Coast area sort of get in touch with your services so they can experience this um, great customer service? 
Yeah, sure. So all they need to do is pick up the phone and call 0411-106-792 or they can find us on LinkedIn. We have our own LinkedIn page, plus I have my personal one, and so does Stephen. Uh, we also have Facebook and Instagram, So the, and we have a web page. So you can contact us through any of those means. If you like to have a chat, feel free to give me a call. Absolutely. I'll definitely make sure that all those links are in the show notes there. Now, Melinda, our audience would um, be very fascinated about this fact and might actually reach out to you so they can get an autograph from you because you have a rare feature that not so many people have in the world. You tell us what that is. My rare feature on my eyes. I always forget about that. Um, yeah, I've got the eyes. I call them mood eyes. Well, my mum calls them mood eyes. I've inherited them from my grandfather. I call them David Bowie eyes. <laughs> I'm a David Bowie fan. And um, they change colour with my mood. So sometimes my eyes will come pretty much close in the same colour and other times one will go brown and one will be quite green, greeny blue. So... Mood eyes. Absolutely. Have you ever had anyone reach out to you and say, you know what, for somebody who's uh, who's got a rare pair of eyes, I would like an autograph from you? They did, but no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would want to uh, get one off of you once we are off this call today, Melinda. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. No. Just going back to that um, little girl that was running around, living her dream life and chasing people for their autographs and things of that nature. But little did she know that life was going to change and take a turn in the way that it did. And, um, you know, you start working and becoming who you have become. What sort of advice would you give to that young girl who's going around chasing other people's autographs uh, not realizing that she too is writing her own story in the process. Well, I would say you can become anything, anything, and believe, believe in yourself because your beyond your wildest dreams will come true, and things that you didn't even dream of or think was possible um, can come true and will come true. And as long as you've got the right support team and you constantly believe. Absolutely. You have the best in life. Absolutely. Well, we've heard your story from, um, you know, the past where you were involved in the food industry and you moved on, moved cities, and uh, now you guys are running one of the best um, waste management setups that I've come across, especially on the Gold Coast. What's next for either Melinda or for Gold Beans? What can our audience who are now really excited to uh, jump on board with what you guys are working on, be also excited about, um, you know, in the future. Yeah, so the next steps for Go, Go Bins is that we eventually would like to secure our own yard so we can sort our rubbish ourselves instead of taking it straight to the tip. We like to sort through it because sometimes there's little goodie bags in there that can be on sale or gifted or things like that. We are quite a wasteful society here. Um, people throw out very valuable things. So we like a sorting yard so we can repurpose things and and maybe partner with a charity organisation to help out with that. Uh, and also I'm, I'm going to be getting on stage hopefully within the next 12 months and talking about the safety of the waste industry. That's the two things that you'll be looking for go bins, go bins to grow to have our own waste yard and to see me on stage uh that will be a sight to die for i'll be with a pluck and say go bins go melinda and <laughs> um, yes yeah, standing at the end of the stage 
with my uh, paper so you can actually sign an autograph for me. Well, I can't thank you enough, Melinda, for the time that we've spent um, on the show today. And uh, obviously you sharing your inspiring journey with us and those safety tips will definitely leave our audience well informed about what to do, especially when it comes to, um, you know, your industry and your line of work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Prosper. Absolutely. I believe your dedication and, and um, excellence and also resilience in the face of challenges and all the unique perspective that you bring to the table is truly remarkable. And uh, for those that are watching right now, Gold Beans Gold Coast is not only a testament um, of your commitment to service, but also a reflection of your unwavering belief in the potential within all of us. You guys build this from the start and look at where you are now. And we really wish you continued success in all your endeavors, including your aspiration to speak. All right. And to our viewers, just remember that you also have strengths that are waiting to be unveiled, just like Melinda believes. And um, I want you to take inspiration from her story as you reflect on your own journey. I want you to ask yourself, what advice would I be giving to my younger self? Until next time, this has been Prosper and Melinda. Go Bins. Bye for now.